What up everyone? Guess what I got here? I bought the cheapest Rolls Royce in all of Europe. Maybe the world, I don't know, but definitely the cheapest one in all of Europe. It cost me 4,000 euros, which is about 3,400 uh, British pounds, I think, something like that. And it doesn't run or drive. It doesn't start. It starts if you, if you spray fluid, uh, starter fluid in the intake. So the engine is, seems to be fine, uh, but it doesn't get any, it's not getting any fuel. It's got a huge hydraulic leak from somewhere here. It's got all sorts of other issues, including rust, some bubbly rust here, messed up paint, again, stuff like that. It has a sunroof, which apparently is a big deal. It's like uh, an option that people were, the dealers were installing, I guess, not the factory. And it's very rare. So I guess it's a good thing, although it seems partly open. And I don't know, uh, I haven't tried it to see if it works. The interior is decent, but very worn out. Uh, it's right-hand drive, by the way. And yeah, look at the, the cracks here. The wood trim is in horrible condition, but apparently there are people that recondition these, so it should be okay. The leather on the seats is pretty good, as is pretty normal for this model, because they used some sort of, I don't know, very good leather, I guess. Uh, and that's how a Rolls-Royce door closes. Yeah, uh, so overall, pretty crappy condition. One of the brakes, uh, brake calipers seems to be sticking as well, so, which made it hard to move the car, but it did move over uh, on its own power when I was getting it out of the garage where it was stored um, by spraying starter fluid in the, in the um, intake and, you know, moving the car that way while spraying the fluid. So, uh, yeah, the engine sounded fine. But yeah, we, uh, I'll have a lot of uh, stuff to discover uh, and it'll be interesting to see what the condition actually is and what things are needed to get it running. The rear springs are sagging and the rear height control system is the thing that's leaking here. There's a leak somewhere from underneath, underneath here. And it's, yeah, it's a very common issue on this model. But yeah, the other thing, uh, so the, the reason why the engine is not running, I believe, is that the fuel pump is out. I just did a small test. I connected the fuel pump to a uh, <clears throat> voltmeter here. And check this out. When I turn the key, which is here, and give it ignition, I get 12 volts or close enough. Uh, and this is connected at the fuel pump, which is right here. And you guys can't see because it's dark, but trust me, it's, collect it's connected to the power connector of the fuel pump. And so it is getting 12 volts, but it's not running. And at least I I'm not hearing anything. This is some sort of weird diaphragm type fuel pump. So I don't know how it's supposed to sound. It's not like a motor, like, a, like the normal nowadays fuel pumps, but it doesn't make any noise. So I'm assuming it's not working. Uh, so uh, yeah, I gotta do some more experimentation, but uh, once that's fixed and once the uh, humongous hydraulic leak is fixed, the car should be drivable, even though it won't be in good shape. Uh, but the, the brakes seem to be working other than the one sticking. I don't know, it seemed to kind of get worked, worked up a little bit while uh, we were pushing the car. So maybe it's okay now, I don't know. We'll find out if I get it running. But uh, yeah, I'm also gonna replace the fuel filters. I'm gonna replace uh, just, yeah, the oil, the uh, all sorts of other uh, minor things like, what else? The, the fuel itself in the tank, whatever fuel is left in the tank has been sitting there for years. So I gotta get that out. Um, and we'll see if the car starts running. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if the cheapest Rolls Royce in all of Europe is actually a car that can, that can get running with uh, very little investment 
of, of money and relatively little investment of time. Um, yeah, the fuel pumps apparently can be rebuilt with a rebuild kit that comes with seals and stuff like that and diaphragms maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I might have to try that, but I'll, I'm gonna do some troubleshooting first, take the fuel pump out, make sure that it, that it is indeed the problem uh, and then we'll see what happens. So let's actually see what's working in this car and what's not. The windows are working, I found out. Um, and they're actually, they're in a weird lineup here, all four windows. It's impossible to tell which one is which, but I found out that this one is the driver's window and it works very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> goes down a little bit faster. Uh, so uh, I'm sure with some lubrication and uh, some more use, it's gonna, it's gonna start working fine. This one, the passenger one worked a little, I don't know, it worked earlier uh, when I helped it with my hand a little bit. Yeah, look, it's trying to st slide down. Yeah, so it's sort of working. The rear ones, Nope, neither of the rear ones are working, but they might they might work fine with some lubrication. Okay, uh, I don't know if I need to have the ignition on for any of these things. Okay, so I've got pressure, low pressure for oil, I guess, and this is coolant, I don't know, some sort of warning light. Partial brake pressure, which is, I guess, normal. Do the wipers work? How do I turn them on? <laughs> okay <laughs> all right yeah i guess you could call it that they work but okay no no go back oh man okay well they're off now okay radio aerial oh this is gonna be cool if this works it's right here this is the antenna it's supposed to be a power antenna Oh, it moves a little. There's a switch here that moves it up or down, but it only moved a little. I guess it's like pretty much all cars in this car. It just hasn't been used in forever and is a little bit stuck, but with some uh, working out uh, and with some lubrication, it might, might be fine. What's this, panel light? What's panel light? Oh, I guess the brightness of the lights here? I don't know. There are two knobs that are missing here and here. I don't know what they're for. Maybe they're for the uh, uh, for the heater. Uh, okay. Speed control. This is the cruise control. Obviously, I can't test it now. But uh, it's a cool feature. It was, it was something very very unique back in the day, back in 1974, when this car was made. Now let's see if the headlights are working. How do I, what is, is this the headlights? What is this? I have no idea what these things are. There's another one here. Oh, that's the test, the test thing. It buzzes. Oh, I think it tests, I, I remember somebody saying this in a, in a video that I watched. I think it tests the oil level. It, it turns the fuel level gauge to an oil level gauge. So oil is full. <laughs> I think that's what it means. Okay, so I'm not gonna test the windshield washer because I don't want the, hit, the wipers to start moving again. Uh, where would the headlights be? Radio balance, okay. By the way, somebody replaced, I think there must have been a radio here, an original radio, and they replaced it with some sort of shitty aftermarket radio, so I'll have to see if I can find the original radio. There is some sort of tape thing here. It says Stereo 8, maybe Super 8 or whatever that standard was from, of tapes back in the day. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but this one seems original. What's this? Oh, cigarette lighter, of course. There's cigarette lighters in the back doors as well. 
Oh, power window, uh, power doors. No, not doors. What am I saying? Power seats. This is for the seat. Let's see. Whoop, I can hear something. But the seat is not moving. Oh, it is moving up. Okay, down. Okay, a little bit. Forward, no. Nope, looks like it's just grinding and missing. Let's see the other seat. Oh, it's moving. A little. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is moving. Very slowly. Okay, so that one works. Up. Nope, nothing happens. Down. Oh, no, it goes up again as well. Oh, I guess I wasn't pressing it all the way. Ah, you're supposed to, it's, it kind of clicks when you go further up. Okay. All right, so this one might work. I don't want to work it too hard because there might be something stuck. Okay. What else? <clears throat> what are these? Defroster. Pull for quantity. Okay. Heat. Do we have heat? I don't hear anything blowing, but maybe if I pull, there's a, a bunch of clicks when pulling. I guess that's supposed to turn it on, isn't it? Nope, nothing works. Hazards? Nope. It's supposed to turn on the hazards. How about turn signals? Oh, something's clicking. I don't see a reflection of anything here. The side one certainly isn't working. I'll check those later. Okay, what's this? Fan? Oh, the fan. Maybe I need to turn it on from here. Oh, there we go. I am getting a fan here. I don't know if you can hear it on the on the video, but the fan is running. Not blowing from here, though. Is it blowing from here? I don't know. Oh, there's a fan blowing somewhere. It's got like five or six levels. Wow. Most cars, even nowadays, have like four. Okay. What's this rear window? Demist. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Where are the headlights? Why can't I find any headlights? This thing? What is this? Something's clicking. What? Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. I gotta read up on it. <laughs> it sounds like it's doing something pretty major, or at least, I don't know, some sort of relay. It's a major click, somewhere from the middle or back of the car. Okay, I tested that one. This one, oh, this is probably the triple odometer because it moved the digits a little bit. Look at that. Click, no? Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Well, okay. I don't know what it does. Is this the headlight switch? There's some sort of writing here that's worn out. I can't tell. But I don't see any headlights on. <sighs> yeah, there's no headlights there. Main beam, there's a light for indicator for main beam, which is not coming on. I seem to remember that the high beams are a pedal. Yeah, probably this thing here. Yeah, there. Huh. <laughs> this car is so weird. Okay. There's no dome light. Ah, oh, there is a dome light. Okay, here, which, but there's no switch on it. I can't, I can't tell. 
Isn't it supposed to come on when the door is opened? Hmm. Oh, dude. It says lights here on this panel. Yeah, okay, we have lights. Seems to be only one, and maybe a... I'm gonna click on this thing. It doesn't change anything, but it does make it flicker. So, seems related. Fog lights, apparently, at this point. Headlights. Park. No, off. I guess this is park. This is head. That comes on with this beam. And then fog. Okay. Let's go out of the car and see what's going on. Oh yeah, they're, they're both on. Okay, good. One of the marker lights is on. The other one is not. That's fine. Okay. Well, I think that's enough playing for now. Oh, do I have a horn? I do. Wow, it sounds like a freight train. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, well that's a quick tour of the weird quirks of the Rolls-Royce. Actually, this reminded me that we have a sunroof. Let's try that. By the way, the headliner is in horrible condition. There. Um, how might I work the sunroof? Is there a button or something? It's not manual. There's no crank. So... I don't know how it's supposed to work. Maybe it's a button somewhere on the dash. Hmm. This thing... Yeah, I better not touch it. It's gonna break. Wow. <laughs> how about this visor? Does that go down? Ugh. Okay. It has a mirror that's not really a mirror anymore. Okay. Oh, this thing moves. Oh, that's not good. Look at that. Is it out of its rails or something? Oh, man. That's going to leak. If I ever leave, leave this car outdoors in the rain, it's going to leak. Let's see. Does the, does the power locks work? Oh, that's a mirror adjustment. This thing here is a mirror adjustment. Okay, that works. It's manual, but it works. And so I was gonna try the power locks maybe, maybe this. Is that a power lock button? No. It's not doing anything. I don't need to have the ignition on, do I? Still nothing. Let's try this one. Is this locked? It's not locked. I opened it earlier. But the pin is down. Weird. Okay. That's it for now, guys. So, yeah. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow this project or any of my other projects, which, by the way, I got a bunch of them here. And... I have no time for any of them, really. But now I found this deal, so this one is gonna get priority almost all over, over all of my other projects. So yeah, just subscribe and you'll hear about my new stuff. You'll hear about um, how this thing gets along and whether it actually gets running with any reasonable amount of investment. Talk to you guys later. Bye.